Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to the anime review. Today we're looking at episode 10 of Juni Tyson. Now, before anyone starts raging at me for going, Oh, you have a spoiler t uh, uh, thumbnail. Oh my god, you spoiled the whole episode. Yeah, how about this? Go to the actual episode title from Crunchyroll, where it's called, and I quote, Episode 10, A Tiger May Die, But It Leaves Its Skin. And then you tell me that you did not realize the tiger was going to die. I guarantee you'll realize, oh, okay, well, now it makes sense why he would even use his thumbnail. Yes, Tiger died. You know, the, the thing was, was that that wasn't a surprise to me. I don't think that was a surprise to anyone who read that title. Um, but this week's episode started off okay. Uh, I got kind of annoyed at the concept of what they tried to do, where to kind of talk about Ox's backstory a little bit, not mind you, it's not his full backstory, it's just a little portion of it. Uh, they had a moment where Tiger had actually met Ox before the Juni Tyson, way back when, when she was starting to get into her drunken, feverish rage already to begin with. Um, she was on a battlefield, I think fooling the enemy, thinking, thinking she was a normal civilian. And Ox had come in, saved her by killing all the soldiers there, and then mistaken her as a um, regular civilian, and, you know, felt like a little girl, essentially. He's like, oh, are you okay, miss? You, you know, you're you hurt, etc. And he treated her pretty good. Um... The thing was, was that, you know, she then realized what type of person Ox was, where he is this guy who, he doesn't really fight for any specific reason, you know, for him he just does what he believes is right, and then executes it, regardless of the consequences of it. And that's interesting, because I, I kind of dig that character concept of him, you know, it's, you know, as as his thing says, he's killing systematically. For him, that's his system, system you know, like, he goes and just does what he wants to do, and if you know, hopefully he hopes it's it's what he considers right, in his definition. Um, so I mean, I, I didn't hate that part, mind you, but I, I did kind of get annoyed because like, oh look, here's a reason for her to have met the guy and for them to have character design together, and that was a little weird to me. That was a little bit odd, uh, but it also showed that she had actually gotten to a point where she started not being as drunk and as uh, I want to say foolish because she met Ox and because she realized how he was, she wanted to change herself. And that's where she got out of her rage and, and her drunken, just, you know, I want to say uh, stupidity. And actually started sobering up, went back to um, to military, went back to training, went back to her dojo and apologized to them, regained her title, even went back to a normal life for the most part. It looked like at one point because the Junior Tyson came up and she decided to participate in that, that's where things went back to kind of where they are right now. But, you know, you can now kind of understand why she's not like as crazy as we saw her in her past. Because in her past, she was ten times worse than what she is right now. Um, but then we skip back to where, um, you know, they're fighting each other and during the fight, she gets killed almost like immediately by, uh, Rabbit's corpse because Rabbit actually had killed himself before they had executed the final blow on him and was able to make it so his, his limbs were obeying himself. That, I have no idea how that works. I'll be honest with you. To me, that makes no sense because, and, and think about it. I know some people might try to defend it, but think about this logically for a second. Rabbit is a necromancer. By logic, that means that he is able to manipulate the dead. Okay. But, if he's dead, how is he manipulating himself? And even if he manipulated his body into doing something before the before he died, that still makes no sense because the necromancer is supposed to be the one that controls the body even after death. It gives it the order, and then the body executes it, but it's still supposed to be around before the corpse, you know, before the corpse can do anything, so it has to be physically still alive. It's making its, like, own logic of a necromancer. It's like, and I get it, so it's like, it's supposed to be where he ordered himself one final order, and that's what he's executing, to kill everything. It just doesn't make sense logically. And it kind of annoyed me. And then the fact that, you know, uh, Ox took Tiger away, and then, you know, was, was running away with her, and then was going to actually heal her up, so they could fight together again, but then killed, and... She, you know, he asked, oh, you know, what are you, um, did I meet you somewhere on the battlefield? Is that why you have animosity toward me? And she's like, no, she lied to him and said that this is the first time they ever met, which, you know, I, I get it, but, I don't know, it's just, this whole episode kind of sat very poorly with me. It's not, it's not the worst episode of Junior Tyson, I still think the first episode was kind of the worst one for introductions, but, I don't know, I, I just really didn't care for it too much. Uh, what did you guys think in the comments below? I would love to hear from you. As always, if you like my reviews, please think about liking the video, sharing the video around, you know, subscribing etc uh, i have food wars episode i think 10 also out that should be coming out probably in 10 20 minutes because i'm still watching that episode as of right now i'll see you guys then hopefully god bless you all even if i don't see you have a great day everyone god bless you all bye-bye i already said that twice but never hurts to say it twice <laughs>